Okay, since everyone is obsessing over Dahmer right now and this whole thing, um, there was an interesting point made in the last episode. This isn't a spoiler alert if you haven't gotten here. But Jeff asked why there was all of a sudden so many serial killers when he was actively killing and caught. And I've always loved true crime and uh, learning about serial killers. And this is something I've researched before. So the things that they mentioned in this episode, highways, the war, PTSD, and porn. So I learned in school when I studied criminal justice before I switched my major to psychology that the porn narrative with Dahmer and Bundy, the two most notorious serial killers in America, was pushed by the Catholic Church. They were paid to say these things about porn uh, to deter people from watching porn. The highways make sense. PTSD, I don't know, that may or may not make sense. Oh, and to give a graphic, uh, here is a graph of active American serial killers. So you can see that that picks up in the 60s, it peaks in the 80s, and then it falls off. So in the research that I have done, uh, it all comes down to DNA and the uh, expansion of technology and being able to catch these killers. And the, uh, my dog is like running around, it keeps distracting me. The ability to link the same person to multiple uh, victims. So prior to the 60s, that technology did not exist. So the number of serial killers back then could have spiked uh, if that information was readily available to law enforcement then, which it wasn't. So it's not to say that serial killers started booming in the 80s. Uh, we just now knew that the same person was killing multiple people. As for the drop-off uh, after the 80s, uh, not only did law enforcement technology uh, expand, so did the technology that we possess every single day. So we have video cameras, cell phones, Fitbits, Apple Watch. It makes it a lot harder for serial killers to kill. People are also a lot smarter. Less people are hitchhiking. Less, more people are reluctant to go in a strange van or to help a stranger with a broken arm, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I have a lot of opinions um, about this series and stupid fucking Jeffrey Dahmer and Ted Bundy, who for some reason America is so fixated on. And maybe one day I'll give my two cents on that too.